scratches, please. All right, there's the finish, guys. Enjoy these last few seconds. Terzo Millennio like you've never seen it before. The Italian bull never ceases to amaze. Catch your breath. Warm up is over. It's now time for a duel. Shame in trying again. We couldn't help but put these incredible cars up against each other. After all, these two units, straight from the Lamborghini Museum, both want to just sit still. Lamborghini Terzo Millennio. I'm on it. Good choice. All right, that Lamborghini Terzo Millennio is ready to race. Are you? The best word to describe this car is visionary. Let me tell you about it. It was developed in collaboration with MIT. It's a look to the future of Lamborghini. It's all electric with a super capacitor. And get this, the body of the car is made from special materials that generates its own electricity. That's the future. And I almost forgot, it's going to have a special sonic signature to replace the roar of the V12 engine that Lamborghini is so well known for. The Terzo Millennio. Get ready to step into the future. to rest the motorfest tradition is never stop driving and you know what they say when in rome we're talking egoista versus terzo millennio right here it's happening all of this and wow that view isn't that awesome this car has what it takes you'll be fine all right i've been told that that path is a little more technical give us a good show but you know watch your turns keep your wits about you not to make you nervous, but these cars must not, under any circumstance, end up in a ditch. They're worth millions of dollars. I just got to remind you guys that this race is unprecedented. These two incredible cars going head to head. We've got to go for it. We're reaching the toughest part now. Lots of turns from here on.
keep brow because we're finally out of these curves. Now's a good time to throw down that foot. Please be careful with this car. It's super special. No time to rest. The Motorfest tradition is never stop driving. And you know what they say when in Rome. all of this and wow that view isn't that awesome all right i've been told that that path is a little more technical give us a good show but you know watch your turns keep your wits about you not to make you nervous, but these cars must not, under any circumstance, end up in a ditch. They're worth millions of dollars. I just got to remind you guys that this race is unprecedented. These two incredible cars going head to head. We've got to go for it. Our driver is first. We're reaching the toughest part now. Lots of turns from here on. We're finally out of these curves. Now's a good time to throw down that foot. Let your guard down. We're just getting started. Your dream car's experience moves forward with our second theme, Dream Bugatti. model to date already looks incredibly advanced. So how much further can they go? Well, Alex has selected two cars that'll give you a definite answer to that question. Two Bugattis that push the manufacturer's boundaries to new horizons. The Bugatti Veyron and La Voiture Noire. We're here. Time for you 
to choose between the two most avant-garde Bugattis ever made. Careful out there. Don't forget, these cars are priceless. What's up, guys? The show continues and we're not slowing down. Another dream manufacturer has lent us two unbelievable concept cars. Elegant, impressive, and elusive. We're talking about the Bugatti Veyron Barchetta and the one and only Bugatti La Voiture Noire. Which car are you gonna pick? One of the toughest decisions for sure. This is Dream Cars Part Two. Choose, drive, and make us fly. The Bugatti La Voiture Noire. Let me tell you more about this incredible car. For a new round and it's all about Bugattis this time. Two exquisite hypercar concepts and if you're anything like me you're gonna love this. a new round and it's all about Bugattis this time. Two exquisite hypercar concepts. And if you're anything like me, you're gonna love this. have finished interiors, but the cars we've chosen really do, and you've got to see them. My tip would be to switch to the cockpit view to take a closer look. This is your chance to admire the incredibly futuristic interior as well. Don't get too distracted, of course. You've still got to stay on the road.
more checkpoints. We've got to keep up the pace. What's up guys, the show continues. The Bugatti La Voiture Noire. Let me tell you more about this incredible car. We're back for a new round and it's all about Bugattis this time. Two exquisite hypercar concepts. And if you're anything like me, you're gonna love this. just seconds. You know, not all concept cars have finished interiors, but the cars we've chosen really do, and you've got to see them. My tip would be to switch to the cockpit view to take a closer look. This is your chance to admire the incredibly futuristic interior as well. Don't get too distracted, of course. you still got to stay on the road. checkpoints, you've got to keep up the pace. driver on to the next one Vera versus Noir there's a certain ring to it don't you think well guess what that's our next headline do you think you're up to the job
The Bugatti Veyron. Nice choice. It'll never go out of style. All right, guys, we're about to see the Bugatti Veyron Barquetta in action, and you don't want to miss one bit of it. It is a jewel that you'll see nowhere else. It's based on a Veyron Grand Sport Vitesse, with even more of a cool factor. Originally, they were going to sell this car in very limited numbers to the rich and the famous, but it wasn't to be. So now there's only one in the world, and it lives in our dreams, except for today. Make the most of it. Did you like our previous run? Then you're in for a treat. Same deal, after showing off, time for a proper face-off, Motorfest style. These cars are both able to reach insane speeds. The race isn't over. and Lava Chunoir. These cars are at the pinnacle of luxury, and yet they're also defined by their incredible power. Did you like our previous run? Then you're in for a treat. Same deal, after showing off, time for a proper face-off, Motorfest style. These cars are both able to reach insane speeds. Veyron 
and La Voiture Noire. These cars are at the pinnacle of luxury, and yet they're also defined by their incredible power. enjoying the show? The Bugatti Veyron, nice choice. It'll never go out of style. All right, guys, we're about to... Did you like our previous run? Then you're in for a treat. Same deal, after showing off, time for a proper face-off Motorfest style. These cars are both able to reach insane speeds. and La Voiture Noire. These cars are at the pinnacle of luxury, and yet they're also defined by their incredible power. done yet. Are you guys enjoying the show? One more time. Full potential, unleash it, no regrets. 
Go for it, driver. The Bugatti Veyron Barquetta, a highlight of the day. You know, this car used to be the fastest production car in the world not that long ago. Showdown, we're staying in France, but this time with two 100% French iconic manufacturers. I'm telling you, when it comes to design, that country brings some serious out of the box thinking to the mix. stage this time are as gorgeous as they're unconventional. Two UFOs that bring a delightful sci-fi flavor to this playlist. Dream a la process. What's up, guys? It's time to move to the third and final part of our Dream Cars Tour. And we've got two great surprises coming straight from France. These are some of the most gorgeous and unconventional concept cars I have ever seen. There is no question about it. Are you ready? All right, we've got what I call the most beautiful car in the world, the Renault Trezor and the super fierce Citroen GT. No matter which one you choose first, you're in for some serious fun. This is French Dreams. Let's go. Going for the Renault Trezor? Don't you agree? It's one of the most beautiful cars ever made. We're about to head into the third part of this experience and our driver's done a killer job so far. We've seen how iconic supercar manufacturers can go beyond our wildest dreams with their designs, with concepts like La Voiture Noir and Egoista. Now, let's see what happens when we let the creative minds coming from more conventional manufacturers roam free. And as you can see, the answer is nothing short of incredible. The difference here is even more obvious, as we all know Renault and Citra are usually focused on delivering everyday practical cars, which these definitely aren't. Take a look at them. It's like we've jumped years into the future. A little too intense here, just pull back slightly. The widest boulevards of Honolulu have been cleared just for the driver. What does it feel like from inside the car? Our 
more drivers entering the freeway, which means we're almost there. Hold on. This was the Renault Trezor, everyone. One of my favorite looking cars in the world. This playlist starts now. The Renault Trésor faces the GT by Citroën. This duel is going to be incroyable. The Citroën GT. Who knew Citroën had such a cool factor? Ah, so you like a mean and intimidating, hey? Fair enough. It is a face-off after all. You're not going to be disappointed with the Citroën GT. Originally, this car was created for the video game industry, and they designed this elongated tail simply to scare the pants off your competitors. I swear, it's true. Actually, Citroën wanted to produce a limited number of these cars to be sold at around $2 million each, but unfortunately, it never came to be. Now there's only one in the world and you get to drive it right now. All right, that's the Citroën GT in a nutshell. And be careful, I've driven it. It bites. for a race between two cars that are just out of this world. The outstanding Citra GT versus my personal crush, the Renault Trezor. And icing on the cake, the weather here couldn't be more beautiful. Our driver's gonna need to push a little bit harder. Kiki Beach at speeds that'll rip through you. What a view! The city is all ours. Do not slow down. We're going straight through that building. turns in the upcoming stretch of road, driver. Go for it. sci-fi jewel, starting with full power on this strip of Hawaiian freeway. Be kind, rewind.
Mean, intimidating and uncompromising during this race. Well done, driver. in the world would love to be in your shoes right now. I mean... So far, you drove the most incredible concept cars there are. You witnessed what comes out of the greatest car manufacturers' minds when they let their creativity run wild. And you got to exploit these speedsters' full potential which to this day is something only a few people on Earth have had the chance to do. Motorfest likes to finish their playlist strong, haven't you? So there's probably a little voice in your head telling you that something even bigger is to be expected for the final event. vehicle to race with them. We weren't sure we'd get it on time, and Alex clearly had to pull a few strings. But it is here, waiting for you. The Mercedes EQ Silver Arrow. Now it's time for you to race all of the cars in the playlist at the same time. Your car and the final car to be introduced into the Dream Cars lineup 
is the Mercedes Vision EQ Silver Arrow. This is a beautiful, sleek, all-electric car with room just for you. It has this intense paintwork that gives off the feel of liquid metal. And when you step inside, it features a panoramic screen to help you navigate. A car that was made for this very race. So I'm not going to say any more. You just need to jump in behind the wheel and see for yourself. This is Supercar Festival. Let's do this. Everything has led to this moment. We're going all the way south of the island, so this is going to be a long and tough race. Expect some serious ups and downs on this path. showdown to behold. Even for me, this race is a big first. Stay tuned, everyone. It's raining supercar concepts here. just appeared in the distance, which means we're about halfway through. All right, what does our driver have to say about the Silver Arrow? to get you this car, but it was totally worth it. Just look at this thing. 
Tell me this is not the most futuristic car you've ever seen, or better yet, driven. Silver Arrow is 100% electric and was made as a tribute to the previous Silver Arrows, including the famous 1938 speed record breaker, the Mercedes Record Bargain. I'd love to explore that special Motorfest car meet and see some custom shows. That's something I always love to do when I get the opportunity. Push that silver arrow, she can take it. Woo! The Mercedes EQ Silver Arrow, unchained and unstoppable. your reward for this playlist. This was the Dreamcast Playlist, presented by Supercar Blondie. This partnership went way beyond our expectations. A total success. And Alex is so much fun. In all other playlists, challenges are available, so you can enjoy the world of concept cars some more. And the best part is, you now have your own dream car waiting for you at the container. You drove it in your final performance. You brought the best in it during a race that will remain in everyone's memory. And now it's yours. The Mercedes EQ Silver Arrow. Playlist means new adventures, driver. Hello guys, it's Supercar Blondie. I'm here.